Today, the road will take us to a town called Illy, in Nevada. And then we're gonna take US 50, the loneliest road in America, into Utah. It's gonna be another travel video, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. Cause I'm free in my RV yeah. I have no idea where I'm going uh, Let's put gas and let's head towards Nevada It's just about an hour south of here I really don't have any plans in this northeastern portion of Nevada But might as well add a new state to our trip, right? Might sleep in Nevada tonight there's supposed to be a gas Take station. Take the next right toward Cheney Drive West, then turn right onto Cheney Drive West. Take the next right onto Cheney Drive West. Thank you, Walmart. That was a good uh, uh, night's sleep. As soon as we start approaching the Battleborn State, the terrain begins to change. It becomes less flat, a little bit rugged, as we approach what is known as the Great Basin, one of the major American deserts along with the Mojave, the Sonoran and the Chihuahuan. This one occupies most of the state of Nevada, western Utah and east of the Sierra Nevada in California. Suffice to say, we're going to be in the Great Basin for this entire episode. Okay, pop quiz. What do we always encounter as soon as we enter Nevada? The answer is... Casinos! Nevada is like a totally different landscape. The Great Basin here consists of all these long mountain ranges separated by equally long and flat valleys. And we're gonna be going across a couple of them as we start going east here in a bit. Apparently, when we crossed into Nevada, we also crossed into Pacific time, so now we are, I gained an hour, it's an hour, um, 8.38 a.m. instead of 9.38 a.m. It's, uh, it's early in the day. This area also has the peculiarity that streams and rivers have no outlet to the sea. Instead, water collects in salt lakes, marshes and mud flats, where it eventually evaporates. Let's take a break. That is not a bad spot to take a break. Well, it took a pretty long break. Probably longer than it needed to be, but you know, it's. I have no no plans for today, really. Took a quick Navy shower, even. We've got even taller mountains coming up ahead. And is it me? Or is it getting a little bit smoky? Let's see what this is. That would be something cool to see. We are here. Okay, we're going into wells now. So that's the bridge we just went under. Mule, deer, elk and antelope uh, migration. It doesn't happen until the fall, so... Probably in about a month or so. A little over a month. Apparently, the deer go into um, lower elevations. That would be cool to see. This section of US 93 is also called the Great Basin Highway. It is certainly starting to feel very remote out here. Quick, take a look at that sign. Uh, I just saw a sign. Next gas, 115 miles. So we're getting into some remote parts here, for sure. It sure feels remote.
Hmm, interesting clouds. We must be getting close to Area 51. Ugh, it is getting smokier by the minute. Check it out. Anybody wants to go to Las Vegas? Actually, today we're only going as far south as Illy, which happens to be the junction with US 50, also known as the loneliest road in America. Today, perhaps one of the smokiest. This part here seems never ending. Let's take another break. That is abandoned over there. And um, I'm gonna take a slightly longer coffee break right now. Pull out my, my smoke map. Because otherwise we're heading back north. If it is gonna be like this. Well, it turns out we are really close to the Shelburne ghost town which was a Pony Express mail station, and the Pony Express route actually used to go through here, on what is nowadays County Road 18. A little bit of trash here. Something about this place kind of gives me the creeps, wouldn't you agree? And here they have some information about the Pony Express and such. WD-40 wouldn't help. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Probably wouldn't help either. All right, let's take our break. Well, I took another break. I'm taking too many breaks, and it just got worse. Look at that. There's no visibility. Those mountains in the, in front of us have all but disappeared. Very hazy. I mean, we're getting very strong winds coming from the east. I mean, no, coming from the west. This California is to the west. Is probably all, all that smoke coming from California fires. I'm assuming. But all of a sudden, I mean, it's, it's been. Look at that. Oh well, yeah, this is. Check it out. The east. Uh, now, now we are uh, facing east-west. This is the Pony Express Trail. Right there. There it is. Right there. All that smoke kind of takes away from the experience, doesn't it? And as I am filming this at the end of August 2020, there are fires raging in California, Oregon, Colorado, Utah. It feels like the whole West is in flames. At least we're getting pretty good solar. 7 amps and the smoke has cleared out a little bit. Here we are driving through McGill, Illy just about 12 miles farther down the road. Arriving now in Illy, Nevada, the point where we're gonna turn east onto US 50 towards Utah. Illy here was founded in the 1870s as a stagecoach station along the Pony Express and Central Overland routes. It was also a copper mining town. The main attraction here in town is probably the Nevada Northern Railway Museum, located at the East Illy Depot. It is supposed to be one of the best preserved early 20th century railroad yards in the nation. And we will visit someday. But not today. It would have been really cool because apparently they even offer train rides pulled by some of these century old steam engines. But our timing here, not so great. Utah awaits, so I'm gonna continue. Cool, here we have several decades represented. 
This town is almost like an antique car show. Kind of reminiscent of Route 66 around here. Coming up on the left, historic Hotel Nevada, which opened in 1929, at the time the tallest building and the first fireproof building in the state. Ooh, let's take a picture with the US 50 sign. Hello Pelican Heads, coming to you today from Nevada and uh, this is US 50, the loneliest road in America. There's Minitiri back there looking rather lonely. Let's just drive a few miles to the west to experience the lonelier side of the loneliest road. Okay, I've seen enough. Yeah, as much as I would love to explore the lonelier parts of the loneliest road, I'm gonna save that for a different trip. Because I have a reservation in Salt Lake City tomorrow, which maybe I shouldn't have done, but yes, because I need, I do need to get some work done before Ely gets here. Namely, the next two episodes. <laughs> so, um, we're heading to Utah, to the Utah border. But enjoy the beautiful drive on, on this short segment of US 50, the, the, the loneliest road, also the Lincoln Highway. Driving back into Illy. Nevada, the casino. Let me tell you, it seems like a pretty cool town. We'll revisit for sure. Now we've got another pretty long stretch here on the Great Basin, and we're gonna cross two of those mountain ranges I mentioned earlier, and we're going to pass right next to Great Basin National Park. But visibility being what it is, I don't think it is worth visiting today. It's pretty cool. I didn't know it was going to be so mountainous on the way to Utah. Connors Pass, elevation 7,722. That's pretty high. Yay, wildlife! And there it goes, running into the desert. And to quote C-3PO, what a desolate place this is. Do you see the sign? Yes, this is the spot where we leave Nevada and going to Utah. It is called Border Inn, and they do have a hotel, RV park, and of course a casino on the Nevada side, but they also allow overnight parking here by the front. Super windy, by the way. Yeah. Greetings from the border between Nevada and Utah. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna stay here yet, but how about an RV cooking show? Let me 
get this organized. All right, I'm gonna make kind of, uh, sort of like a chicken fajita kind of thing. And uh, I didn't show you, but this morning I left uh, this chicken marinating. I made a marinade with, um, I added some, some salad dressing, some soy sauce. Uh, what, did, what else did I put in there? I put some, some lemon and you know the usual paprika, uh, onion, garlic, you know, powder uh, and um, oregano, um, cumin, cayenne pepper. Um, and now we're gonna see if, if I can take it out, leave some of the liquid in there, brown it on all sides and then add some onions and peppers and uh, and garlic and I'm really hungry I can't think straight <laughs> especially since I am here at the at the border in there was another guy that was gonna stay but I guess he left I might I may I may or may not probably not I probably won't stay here main reason why is um, I mean we got cell phone signal but zero uh, internet connectivity and I wanted to get some work done tonight I mean it's not crucial but it's early, so if I can, if I can, you know, do another hour or two, and maybe there's some dispersed camping along the way with internet. Well, it might be worse. It might be like a computer completely incommunicated. But we'll see. First of all, there we go. We got fire, 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 and uh, we're gonna add a little bit of oh. My neck still hurts. I don't know what. I probably slept in the in a weird position last night. We're fairly level here, which is a plus. If, if I get really tired, I might stay here. I mean, it's not too hot either. We are completely dry. They have an RV park too, by the way. If I if I wanted hookups, they do have hookups in the back. I'm gonna start browning this chicken, and I'm gonna try to not not to not to. Because if I get all this liquid, it's really gonna start splashing. And get as much chicken as possible without getting all the liquid. It's good, but I need more salt. Okay, we're gonna add the rest of that marinade. And my secret ingredient, my signature ingredient, I should say. My cooking wine. Now let's move it around one more time and uh, I think we're good. I'm just gonna let it cook and reduce there for a few minutes and then we're gonna do like a, like a fajita. And I think today is gonna be a three coffee day. You know, I haven't had a three coffee day for a while. I used to do it all the time when I used to have my day job and then at night I would work at the studio. I would have one in the morning, one, one mid-afternoon at work and then one as, as soon as I got home so I was able to, to be a, a alert for my second job. But lately I've been just having two. 
today. It is a lot because I have the, the, the whole colada. But today's gonna be one of those days that I'm gonna have a third one as soon as I eat. Woo! Almost, almost, almost burned that tortilla. And this is perfect. Woo! Oh yeah. I'm gonna add some of this sharp cheddar. Now we have more room for this to cook even better. Okay, one more pepper. There we go. Cheers! I'm gonna start eating because I am really, really, really hungry. More or less, it's really hot. We continue on the, um, on the loneliest road. <laughs> I mean, this would have been nice, and I'm tempted to stay, but I'm sure we can uh, find something farther down the road. And now we are in the great state of Utah. And if anything, we've got some great tailwind. Next services, 83 miles. Hold on, let me think about this. We have 185 miles, okay. This should be okay. If anything, we're going to have some great tailwind, so um, we should do great mileage. <laughs> mountain time zone, all right. We're back in the mountain time zone. My phone has been going back and forth. It's another long stretch of nothingness. Right now, the idea is to boondock at this BLM called Little Sahara Recreation Area. But it is getting late, and I don't want to arrive at an unknown place in the dark. So if I find something closer, we'll stay there. It's kind of good to start seeing some signs of civilization again. Eventually we arrive at this town called Delta. And besides a gas station, there's an RV park. I am exhausted, so I think I'm gonna call it a night. I guess I didn't ring the bell, bell hard enough uh, the first time, but anyway, it, it's they have a self check in, but then she came out and uh, so it's only 40 bucks per night, but with good Sam is 36. All right, let's do it. Last night was a pleasant night here in the, in the RV park in Delta. 
Naturally, there's a train that passes, you know, every couple of hours at night, but it only woke me up once. There it goes. I still have a little bit of a stiff neck. Let me tell you, now I know what people mean when they say you're a pain in the neck. Yeah. Well, to Salt Lake City we go, but first, uh, let's see a couple of quirky things in the area. It's a dirt road, I hope uh, we don't get too dirty. Well, we're gonna visit the ruins of a failed power station. More of a scam, really, according to what I've read. And there it is! Apparently, this was going to be a more efficient way to gather solar power, using cheap materials and this satellite arrays that would follow the arc of the sun. But it never actually worked. In a short period of time, it all got destroyed by the strong desert winds. And this is all that remains. I read they were able to scheme several million dollars in tax incentives before the operation was shut down. I mean, it looked like a cool concept, right? But nowadays, just this cool-looking decaying ruins. Yeah, very, very interesting installation. This kind of has that slab city look, if you know what I mean. But I want to show you something, something I think I saw my way in. There seems to be someone living here. Let me show you. And there it is. That's a Cuban flag. Here in the middle of, of Utah. I'm telling you, we're scattered all over the world. On to Salt Lake City we go, and I'm gonna spend a couple of days there, while I wait for Illy, and then we're gonna start driving east. It is going to be about two hours to our destination, the Salt Lake City KOA, so meanwhile enjoy the ride, and uh, I know, this episode was definitely more about the journey than the destination, any destination really, we didn't explore anything in any depth. But think about it as a scouting trip. Some trips have set destinations, a set route. But today is one of those like, it's just to see what it looks like. And I know, for example, that I want to do the entire loneliest road and definitely spend some time in Italy at some point. See that railroad yard. And I also know I might want to visit Great Basin National Park on a clear day or even drive a portion of the Pony Express, go to that ghost town. So look out for some of those in a future video. But for now, here we are, Salt Lake City. And from here, we're going to explore a good chunk of the great state of Utah. But more about that on the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.